Hello everyone and welcome back. We have a new Miss Grand International 2022. I, for one, I've said this before and I will say it again, I was very pleasantly surprised with Miss Grand International this year. Besides the making Ukraine and Russia roommates and then consequently unroomating them, besides that little blip that happened, they did everything perfectly. Everything was executed to perfection. I actually loved how much content they put out, um, you know, in a timely fashion on their social media. They really, really want the engagement of the public. They really respect their fans in that regard, um, with regards to making sure that their fans are getting the content they need to keep excitement and hype up. And I respect that about Miss Grand International, and I also appreciate that. Like I said in my um, review, of the actual pageants. I really respect the fact that Mr. Nawat, with all his faults and everything, really loves this organization that he, he has built. And I feel like it really shows in the amount of work that is put into the pageant each year. And I really loved following Miss Grand International this year. So let's talk about the woman who actually won, the gorgeous Isabella Menin from Brazil. She, she was absolutely amazing at Miss Grand International. Let me tell you guys that one for free. They had this segment where they had the girls making anti-war speeches, like a short little speech against war and violence, and she blew it out of the water. Honestly, she was so amazing. She's obviously a very intelligent woman. She holds a bachelor's degree in economics as well as a master's degree in finance. So this woman has all three B's of Miss Grand International. Beauty, body, and a brain. A very, very, very intelligent brain. Isabella is part Italian and part Brazilian. And what I find really interesting about Isabella is that she truly believes that pageantry is in her veins. Both her mother and her aunt were both former beauty queens and her grandmother was actually elected the most beautiful woman in Marilia, which of course is Isabella's hometown. What I also found so interesting about her is that she has a food Instagram, like an entire Instagram page dedicated to food, which honestly is such a mood. It's called Revel Taste, which yum. But truthfully, Isabella was a big standout at this Grand International this year. I was just a little bit, well, you know, in the grand scheme of things, guys, there were 68 contestants at this year's Miss Grand International competition, and Isabella was my number seven. So, in the grand scheme of things, can we just say that I was a little bit off? She really caught people's attention at the preliminary competition, unfortunately, we did not get to see her do a swimsuit performance because there were no swimsuit performances at Miss Grand International 2022. Um, there was like a pre-pre-prelim swimsuit thing that they were doing, but uh, I would have loved to see on stage swimsuits, you know, but the competition was held in Indonesia, which is a very modest country by nature. They they appreciate modesty, so swimsuit probably wouldn't have cut it, although truthfully, some of the evening gowns were probably even more immodest than swimsuits. But Isabella did end up wowing everybody when it came to sportswear, um, in prelims as well as in finals, and her evening gowns as well. Now, when I was watching the prelims, I wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of her evening gown. I didn't necessarily like the pattern that much, but you can't deny that this woman was selling it anyway, gave beautiful performances all the way. And when it came to the finals, her gown was absolutely spectacular as well, I thought. Anyway, guys, that is all I have for you on Isabella Menin, the new Miss Grand International 2022. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.
child is killed, part of our future is erased. Once you remember, we are more alike in our humanity than different in our nationality. May the power of love always overcome the love for power.